Hello, hi. Today we'll be discussing medication calculation, specifically what is the flow rate when it includes medication like heparin. My name is Dr. Karen Danvers Perez. This video is for educational purposes only. So let's get into it. So the question reads, your client is ordered to receive continuous heparin drip at the rate of 1,100 units per hour. The pharmacy has sent a bag of 500 ml of IV fluid with 25,000 units of heparin. What flow rate will you set the IV pump to deliver? Now, normally when we talk about flow rate is the formula for that would be what's the total amount uh, of fluid volume over time in hours. In this case, even though it asks you what flow rate, which is correct, it wants to know, the question is asking, how much fluid would you have to give in order to deliver the 1,100 units per hour? So in that case, you would use the formula as dose order, so I'm going to write as DO, dose order over dose on hand times the volume. So now remember, it's asking you what rate would you have to set the pump, and that's in mLs, in order to get the 1,100 units per hour. And the formula is what is the dose order over the dose on hand times the volume. So the dose order is 1,100 units. The dose on hand is 25,000 units. And the volume is 500 ml. So unit, cancel unit, 1,100 divided by, 2, 000, by 25,000 should give you 0 0.044. So now 0 0.044 times 500 ml actually gives you 22 ml. So as the nurse, you will set the flow rate on the pump as 22 ml. So what that will do, that will deliver the 1,100 units that is ordered. All right, so let's recap. So the order is 1,100 units. The pharmacy sends 25,000 units in 500 ml, and they want to know what would you set the flow rate at. So it is dose order over dose on hand times the volume. And when you calculate it, 1,100 divided by 25,000 give you 0 0.044. When you multiply that by 500 ml, you get 22 ml. So you set the flow rate at 22 ml. So I hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe, like, and comment. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to place it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video.